Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to sell NFTs for free on OpenSea. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now the first thing you need to do is to go over to OpenSea.io and you'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. Now you need to go over to the top right, click on this icon and then click on profile. You'll then be sent over to the connect your wallet page. Now there's quite a few wallets you can connect to OpenSea. However, in this video, I'll go with MetaMask. But before you're able to connect your MetaMask account to OpenSea, you need to go over to Google and search for the MetaMask extension. You can then press enter and you'll then be sent over to this page. And you can then go ahead and click on MetaMask.io. Then you want to go over to download now and select Chrome. Once you've done that, you can click on install for Chrome and you'll be sent over to the Google Chrome web store. Now the last and final thing you need to do to install MetaMask to your Chrome is to click on add to Chrome right here. Now for me it says remove from Chrome because I already installed the plugin. Once you've done that you can click on MetaMask and you'll then get this pop-up. Now the next thing you need to do is to fill in your password and click on unlock. And as you can see my MetaMask has been connected to OpenSea. I will also show you that I don't have any funds in my MetaMask account. And on my local host I also don't hold any cryptocurrencies. So now that you know that I don't hold any funds on MetaMask, I will show you how to create and sell your own NFTs on OpenSea for completely free. So there's no gas fee to be paid. Now the first thing you need to do is to go over to create in the top right. You can then go ahead and create a new item. So you will have to select a video, image, audio or 3D model. And once you have uploaded your file, the next thing you need to do is to fill in a name. So you need to give your NFT a name. This is also the name that will be displayed over on the scroll page, the browse page or however you want to name it. And once you've given your NFT a name, you can also add an external link. OpenSea will include a link to this URL on this items detail page so that users can click to learn more about it. You are welcome to link your own web page with more details. I just copy and pasted my channel link into this external link. And you can also give your NFT a description. Just a test lol. Once you've done that, you could decide to add your NFT into a collection. Or you can give it new properties, like textual traits that show up as rectangles, or levels, stats. And you can also decide to add unlockable content. And if you include unlockable content, the content will be only revealed to the owner of the item. So you could give an access key, code to redeem, a link to a file, etc. And if your NFT is explicit or sensitive, you can also click right here. Now the key to paying zero gas fees and to be able to sell and upload your NFTs for completely free is to go over to blockchain and you'll then need to click on it and now you want to select Polygon, a fast gas free blockchain experience that works with Ethereum. Once you've done that you could decide to change the supply. The number of copies that can be minted is that. However as you can see there's no gas cost to you. If you don't know what minting is Minting is an action that brings an item into existence on the blockchain, and it costs gas to do so. Minting on OpenSea is lazy, meaning it only occurs when necessary. When you transfer an item to another account, or when someone buys an item from you, this means that you can create as much as you want here for free. So let's say I would like to create a supply of 3, I can go ahead and fill in 3. Now once you fill in everything you need to fill in, and most importantly, once you have selected the Polygon blockchain, the last and final thing you need to do to actually create your NFT is to click on create. You'll then see this pop up saying you created the name of your NFT, however it's not ready to sell yet. Because what you need to do is to go over to sell in the top right, then fill in the quantity you would like to sell. So in this case that's going to be all of my supply which is 3. And you can then decide the price per unit. So let's say I would like to receive 0.08 Ethereum per NFT. Obviously I'm not actually going to sell this NFT because it doesn't really have any value. However, once you've filled in the price, you'll see the amount in dollars that it's worth. And you can then fill in the amount or the duration your item will be for sale. This can be a date range or you can just fill in the starting and the ending right here. If you would like to configure more options, just click on more options. And you could then enable reserve for a specific buyer. And once you click on that, you'll have to fill in the wallet address of the specific buyer. Now as you can see there is a service fee, however the service fee is something you will only have to pay once you actually sell your NFT and it actually is just a fee of 2.5% which is being deducted from the amount your NFT got sold for. 
so you'll get 97.5% of the total your NFT got sold for. So, once you've filled in everything you need to fill in, the last and final thing you need to do to actually sell your NFT for free is to click on complete listing. Now as you can see, to complete your listing, you need to follow these steps. So you need to unlock currency. So once you've done that, you'll get a pop-up from your wallet. In this case, that's my MetaMask wallet. And you'll then need to click on sign. And if you're using Coinbase wallet, it will say confirm. So just click on that. Now there is a chance you'll have to click on unlock for like multiple times because the Polygon network is quite overloaded sometimes because there's a lot of people using the Polygon network. Now once you've unlocked your currency, you'll need to sign message. So just click on sign and then click on sign over on your wallet notification. And as you can see, my NFT has been listed. If you've still got any questions left, please ask me in the comments down below so I can help you out. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.